Stop recording. So our first word here is ato dusaru, which is to retreat or back off, to shrink away, is how it's used in this next context. Ato dusaru. Um, can you read the sentence for me? Hai hai, wakarimashita yo. Ore wa chiri chiri to ato dusata. Yes, yes. I understand. I understood, yeah? Yeah. Um, uh, your first translation is better. Yes, yes, understood. Hi. He's basically saying understood. like, like, your guy. It's you're just being like, okay, what you said, I should do that, basically. Hi. Ore wa chiri chiri to. And we say ato zu, ato zu tsata was, what is it again? That is to shrink. Shrink, shrink away, shrink back. To shrink back. I jiri jiri shrink. Yep. I shrink back in a jiri jiri kind of way, which I believe is like kind of like a slowly kind of cautiously, I think, which might be a little all. Let's see what the official definition of this. Jiri jiri. Uh, oops. Jiri jiri. Jiri jiri. Uh, GDGD is, yep, slowly, bit by bit. Slowly, okay. bit by bit. So he slowly kind of shrinks. Shrinks back slowly. Okay, kanji check. Remember this guy from last week? I mean, yesterday? This, um, a shin, shin cow. So good guess. This is normally cow, but it's pronounced a little bit differently here as? Gao. Yep, perfect. Shin gao. Perfect. How about this part? The part is nano. Yep, nano. -ta. Perfect. Okay, can you read the sentence for me? Meshi. Meshi kai. Good guess. Tsukai. Meshi tsukai. Meshi tsukai wa sue o futa. That to clean to wave. Yep. What does he wave? To wave the the cane that meshy sky. Nah. What's going on? Here? What? Meshi sky is servant. Basically, a servant. The servant waves the cane. Perfect. Perfect. Can you read this word for me? Oops. Araku. Close. Araki. Aru. Aruki dasu. Hi. Do you have any guesses what this might mean? To begin walking. Yep, to begin, to begin walking. To walk. Perfect. And can you read the sentence for me? Ihe wa sue o furi nakara nagara aruki dasta. Perfect. Eh, um, eh, this word here isn't ihe. How is it? Eh, yep. eh, eh, eh. Yep, eh, eh. Hey. Okay, so what's going on here? The um, the guard wave while the guard was waving the cane. He started to walk. Perfect. Okay, so let's go read the line from the book. Neburi ga suite koi to ue o furi nagara aruki dashi yojinbo ga ato ni suzuita. Neburi said koi koi te suite koi. Suite koi. Follow me. Yep. Sueo furi nagara. While waving the cane, he started to walk. Aruki dasta. Yojinbo ga, the bodyguard. Atoni suita. He followed behind. Perfect. Um, next word is kaigi. Kaigi is some kind of like a discussion or a meeting. 
has kind of both meanings. Kaigi. So what did it start with? Kaigi. Yep. Kai. Kaigi. Can you read this for me? Hi. Ma jutsu. She wa kaigi e kita. He go he went to the meeting. Perfect. The magician went to the meeting. Yep. How do you think you'd read this word? Koe. Ko koe. Yeah, perfect. Has that rendaku? Nice. So now you have to remember it starts with ko ko goe for small, quiet voice. Can you read this ko, for me? Ko goe de nani ka ita. With a small word voice, he said something. Yep. Perfect. Do you know what futari means? Futari, two person. Perfect. So now you're going to have to remember that it starts with futa. Futa and ends with ri, futari. Hi. Can you read this for me? Futari wa soko ni ita o kita. Oh, you're right. It's i. Ita. Um, you're thinking about the verb okoru? Uh, wait, o okonaru, okonaru, which does have that same kanji. But we're not learning that right now. So it's just going to be ita. Hi. The uh, two person, two people, kokoni, uh, go here. Yeah, they went there. They went, went, they there. went, soko, soko, they went yep, there. Soko. You know what a shaberu is? Shaberu. Shaberu, to chat. Yep, to chat. Just... And it is an u verb, to... shaberu. What shaberu did this word end with? Sorry, but it's Utari ri. Perfect. Utari. Can you read the sentence for me? Utari wa kogoe de shaberte iru no de yoku ki enai. Ki koenai. How, how does that keep on happening when I type up that word? Ki koenai. Hi. Yeah, the, the uh, two person right. was uh, was chatting with a small voice to one another. So two person was chatting with a with a quiet voice. Um, because of that, yoku kikoe nai meaning cannot hear very well. Perfect. I cannot hear what they say very well. Yep, because they're talk. The two are talking in a quiet voice. Do you happen to recognize this kanji? Me. Or Mimi. Yeah, Mimi for ears. Me. Can mimi. you read this for me? Mimi o sumatsu. Hi. So this is a way to say you strain your ears, as in you try really, really hard to hear something. Mimi o sumatsu. Hi. Sumatsu. Uh, okay, let's go read this example sentence. Hi. Mimi o sumatsu ste. Steru no ni. Nanika. I straining hard to hear uh, to hear despite no ni despite despite straining hard to hear nani ka sapete iru no ka something they were talking about something I don't know. Yes. Yep. So well, even though I'm straining my ears, what they're talking about, I have no idea. Karanainda. So that's, that's a I, random practice for embedded questions. You don't it's not actually use the next sentence, but I thought that'd be good practice. Remember this word started I, with kai. What did it end with? Gi. Gi. Kai gi. Kai, kai gi. Perfect. So let's go read the next sentence. We're missing the ko again. So I when, when I when I do kikoe kikoe do, it keeps on doing that, <laughs> which it looks like both oh, I are understand. allowed. Um, I understand, Mani. It's my fault because what happened here is that the 
Kiko is inside the kanji. It, and I should have just read it as Kiko. It, it's allowed to be there, but you don't, but you can also have it with it. It's one, it's like how I had Higure, Higure, for example. You can have it with it or without. If it's without, you're supposed to read it with it. So with Kiko, you do I, both are, both are um, standardized. And it's just, see, when I'm picking space, it's Sifan going, I want the easy, the, the smaller one. And it's like, no, give me the fat boy. Hi. I get it. Yeah, it should have been. Yeah, either one works. So, futari no kaigi ni mimi o sumashite ru no ni yoku kiko e nai. So, two, the meeting of two two people. Um, at the meeting of two people. Uh, although I don't know who the subject, who's the trying hard to listen. I. But. So suppose I I try hard to listen, despite I trying hard to listen to the meeting of two people. Perfect. I could not hear very well. Very good. Nice. Okay, so let's go read the line from the book. Hi, futari no kaigi ni ni o sumashi nagara suite itta ga. Dochira mo kogoe de shabete ite yoku kikoe nai. Dochira mo isn't really yeah, adding anything way. here. Yep. Dochira mo. Okay. So two at the meeting, two people. I was well, I, while I was trying hard to listen, listen in on them. Sweet day. Itta. Ga. Sweet day itta meaning following them. Yes, perfect. Do you know which itta is here? Is this itta as in iku or is that itta as in you? This is context. It's a context question. It would be iku. Correct. The reason why iku is being used is because we're leaving the current location. We're going to a new location. So he's following them away from the current setting, the current location. Hi. Which I think was right and in front of the bar. Mark. That's the however. I, however. So do this dochira mo, this dochira means you're talking about two options. So he's saying there's two people having a conversation person A and person B, both of them, that's what the mole is saying, kogoi de shabette ita. So in other words, he's making, he's mm. talking about both the people in this crotch range. So no matter which one we're talking about, this is uh, correct for it. Hi. Either one. Yeah. Either, either one, they, they spoke in a hushed voice. Um. And yoku kiko and I, I cannot hear well. Perfect. I cannot hear them well. Perfect. So next word is yashiki. So yashiki a lot of times might be translated as like a mansion or something like that, but it actually does include the grounds a mansion is on. So it's not just the house; it's also like the the grassy fields leading up to the house, the the fence, the everything. That's what a yashiki is. It's it's the whole thing together not just the house and in english we do the same thing sometimes we'll be like oh look at those the grounds are so crazy they're so big but yeah that's what they mean with yashiki, yashiki. so and it was shiki what did it start yashiki. with yep yashiki. can you read the yeah. sentence for me Higure no kimi no yashiki. perfect the ground or the um... The property. The whole, yeah. Of <laughs> the, the estate. Shadow That's Lord, probably the uh, right word, estate. The the estate, yes, perfect. There we go. <laughs> okay, any guesses how to read this word? You good at? Yep, you good at, perfect. So this is another way to say twilight. I'm going to have all the twilight synonyms. Twilight. You good at. So it is he good at and you good at. One referring to the twilight of the day and the other's twilight of the evening. Basically. Clearly, that's what it's saying. Well, well, he higure literally is just the sun setting time. So twilight is a little bit 
deeper in the night. This is actually the same word as tasogare, tasogare, which the the district they're in of Worometo is called tasogare gai. So this is the twilight mansion in the twilight district with two different words for twilight. Hi. So basically, these twilight just, words just keep so reading. Many. There's, there's still some the more. more you say it, the more. <laughs> The more I remember of Zelda. <laughs> so, uh, so I, for a state, it started with Ya. What did it end with? Ya Shiki. Close Shiki. Yasaki. Shi. Yashiki. Perfect. Can you read the sentence for me? Hi. You get a Yashiki. Hoi, you know what? Kuro U no Yashiki Koto da. Hi. So this Koto is kind of here. So this it has to do with the... like a grammar rule with Toyu Noa. But I feel like you can guess what this means. So Toyu Noa is sort of indicating in other words. Or... Yeah. It's used for defining words. Right? In... Defining. So the thing or... that is defined. It... Is this thing? I see. So I like to be cold. The yeah. The Yugure Yashiki. That is the proper name of the place. It's the Which name place because it's in quote. Mm -hmm. Is the koto is the estate. It is the thing that that is the estate of Kuro. Cloud Kuro. Yes. The person named Kuro. Perfect. Yep. Yep, that's exactly what I said. So but so in other words, if you're translating, you might say, so but so the Twilight Mansion, in other words, is the mansion that belongs to Crow. So yeah, that's a good way of thinking about it. Do you remember how this word is pronounced? Ikisaki. Hi, Ikisaki. What does Ikisaki mean? A destination. Place ahead. Perfect. A place that we're going to go to. So super similar to that is this word, which is Ikituitasaki. So this is the destination that we ended up in. Ikituku is to go and end up, basically. To go and arrive. So it's just the destination hey. that we ended up in. Okay, so let's go read this line for me. I ended up. Ikisuita saki wa yugure yashiki datta. We ended up at the Twilight Mansions. Perfect. Nice. Can you read this word for me? Akume. Hi. So this na right here is pronounced as me. This means bad reputation. Me. So, aku, me. Aku. Can you read this word for me? Me. Akume takai. Hi. So this is to be infamous. Basically, your reputation is so bad, everybody knows about it. So some kind of evil person will have a be, have an infamous reputation. It'll be akume takai. Akume takai. Hi. So what did it start with? Like Luffy. Yeah. <laughs> like Lu Luffy from One Piece. He's infamous. Yeah, yeah. He's infamous. He's Akume Takai. Akume Takai. Hi, Aku is the word. Can you read the sentence for me? Higure no kimi wa Akume Takai. The, sh the Twilight Lord is infamous. Perfect. Can you read this word for me? Junin. Hi, Junin. I the think owner. it has the wrong kanji right there. So I, I see why. You it, it did say Junin, right? It has. So yeah, so I had shu so I had Shujin right here, right? Shujin, which is the sun right here. But I was supposed to write Junin, which replaces uh the meaning a little bit. So super, super Hi. similar kanji. And that was my fault for typing too fast. So Junin is a dweller. It's someone that it's a human being that lives somewhere. This kanji is to live in a location. Junin. So a this, resident. This 
Han Chi mean like when you go to a um, city or a town, they say the resident, the Junin of this place. Yeah. The Tokyo Junin or the Osaka Junin. Yes. Right. I'm a resident of Osaka. That's how you'd use that. Um. So it ends with Nin. What did it start with? Ju. Yep. Ju. Long I think I've seen this word before in like Probably. a game where it say, "The resident of this place, please evacuate." That sounds quite Something likely. Like that. Okay, let's go read this sentence for me. Sono akume takai junin no nam namae wa on. We just went for down to that na na wa yep. na um. Kuroda. Perfect. The that infamous uh resident name is Klo. Yep. So the name of that infamous residence of some kind of location is Crow. So whoever that is. Who could it be? Uh next is Motomo. This kanji right here you've seen before. Any guesses where you've seen it before? How can't you say the the most of something? It is the most. Multiple is just most in general, actually, the very most. So you've seen it in like saikin and other sai mm. words the mean the most of something. Saigo, the very end. So mutomo mot, is the very most of something, like ichiban, number one. Um, can you read this for me? Weru meto de kuro wa motomo. In Werumet, Klo is the most infamous resident. Perfect. Okay, so let's go read the line from the book. Werumet de Motomo Akume Takai Junin no. Hitori. Higure no kimi. Kuro no yashiki da. In Werumet, the most infamous resident person, Hitori. So, yeah, any guess about this Hitori is telling us? This means one person. One I person. Think it's adding to this. Motomoto akonin takai shunin no hitori. The one person who is the most infamous in all the world guess. met. In this case, you might translate this as of. So one of the most emphasis people dwellers of um, Wurumeto. So there's actually a couple of other in, um, infamous dwellers. What, uh, but uh, Wurumeto is one of them. So he's like in the top three, basically. I see. It's kind of what it So says. one of the resident. Hi. One among. Yeah. One among the resident, the infamous resident. So so. And that person is. Um, Higure no Kami. That is epitaph. He is the Twilight Lord. So. And his name is Kuro. Yep. Kuro no Yashikida. What are um, saying? The estate of Kuro. Exactly. So this estate is Crow's. Crow is one of the most infamous evil people that dwell within Wurumetto. So he's defining that for us. I see. He's like, you guys might not know this information. Um, do you know what this kanji is read as? Kaigi. Perfect. And how about this guy? I'm sorry. Is that Kaigi or Kaiwa? Oh, it's this Kaiwa. Is, this is, oh. You're right, it is Kaiwa. That's conversation. Kaigi is the meeting. It's conversation. Do, 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 they have a conversation. They did not have a meeting of the two person. La, they had la, a conversation la, la, la. between two people. <laughs> You're right. <laughs> Sorry about that. <laughs> I thought I saw a tongue character there, do, do, along do, do, with do. the old, old thought, which is like the sound character. <laughs> yep, that's Hanashi right there. 
Do, 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 do. Second time I've done yes. that. It's like what I had. <laughs> this <laughs> one is Aruki. <laughs> Aruki. Yeah. Aruki. Aruki. Hi, hi. Um, uh, what's this guy? <laughs> Utari. Utari. Yep. Do you know what Dippa means? Dippana. Dippana. You're so pretty. <laughs> really, it's so really, awesome it's very like yeah. That. It's very similar to that. It's kind of like um elegant, elegant, versus just being like pretty. Dipana, it's, so it, it's like a high quality type of item. Dipana. So it's like great, really but elegant. it just has that kind of elegant kind of feeling in it. I heard this in a song once. Yeah. Makes sense. And the singer was like, "You so elegant." Yeah. Not something something probably <laughs> uh what did it start with hi ah uh, oh you say ripa yep the word yep ripa has a little Ri. well stop in there yep Ri. and then it's got to stop ba. okay let's read the sentence for me kon wa ripa na um Something deshi, deshi da. Right? Deshi. Yep. Isn't it? It's deshi. Deshi da. On is a elegant apprentice. Yes. Con is an con, elegant. Con a. So in this case, yeah, I would almost translate it as a splendid, apprentice. maybe splendid in this context. But you can see how it's like a little bit different than saying an right. amazing apprentice. Kind of has a little bit of that elegant, like he he's high quality goods is what he is. Uh, amazing would amazing would be like sugoi. He, 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 awesome. Yeah, which which has like slightly different in the connotations, but a lot of times they can be interchangeable. Um, how would you read this word? But to be honest, yeah, <laughs> I cannot see Khan being elegant at all. Soul, soul. Just the he, way he, he always wouldn't. like. Think he's thinking in his head. He's living in his world. He's he's Abs thinking absolutely. about food. Yep. Very short sighted boy. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Mita me. Yep. So mita me is the appearance of something. So basically, what you see using your Hi. eye. Mita me. Um, the story started with Hi. di. What did it end with? Ripa. Perfect. Can you read the sentence for me? I can. Yeah. I can see Nebri being I can see Nebri being elegant once so, upon a time yeah. ago. He's a Ripana but now he's so, he, he, uh, <laughs> he 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 fallen on hard times now, so he kinda lost <laughs> lost all of that. True, true. <laughs> Got his hand do me downs went on. <laughs> ya shiki no mitame wa ripana. So the appearance of the estate was splendid perfect elegant it was it was, an, it was a splendid elegant estate so naka naka is kind of like the word quite like it's quite nice for example naka naka um can you read the sentence for me naka. hi mitame wa naka naka ripana o ya shiki da the estate the uh the appearance was that of a splendid or oh, quite a splendid estate. Perfect. The appearance was quite a splendid estate. It is. Yep. The, it's the appearance hard to translate of, for, Japanese. So literally be as for the appearance, because we're talking about the location they ended up. That's that's the whole um paragraph has Hi. been about. It's been like, oh blah blah blah, the Hi. mansion is is belongs to him. So the appearance of it. Is a quite splendid mansion, so that that's how you would um translate. Because the wall right here is the topic wall, as you can see, rather than like subject wall Hi. necessarily. Um, Hi. next word is tetsu. This is iron. Um, F E. That's it. That's it. Yeah. Has this nice little I saw this money guy right there. This is the most important character in this new game that came out called oh. something Triangle Strategy. Oh. And all these people was fighting over this iron. Interesting. I I knew it'd be like I thought it would be like yeah, a Full Metal really Alchemist. Cool. I'm like, yeah, he's the Iron Blood. 
higher it's iron. Higher, it's Tetsu. Whatever, tetsu sets itself like I don't know. I've never read the, <laughs> the manga. Um hi, hi. so right now it's our halfway point. So I gotta stop the sharing and see on two seconds. 